Hello friends, Mark Piotr here. Today we are going to compare two boxes of reeds for tenor sax. We have the Better Sax 2.5 and we have the Boston Sax Shop 2.5. Now, I'm not just going to take one reed out of each box and give you my first impression. No siree. We are going to go through all 10 of these reeds and then give you a summary of what I think about them. The Better Sax box is uh, pretty firm on the outside, but it's smaller and slender. Why? Because the packaging inside is just paper for the reed. There's no plastic cover slips for their reeds, okay? Something that I noticed right away with the Better Sax brand reeds is that they have a, a little bit more texture than I prefer. It kind of irritates my skin just a little bit. The Boston Sax Shop uh, company puts their reeds in individual plastic covers like a lot of reed companies do. They are not individually wrapped for moisture like the Van Doren reeds are, but they do have these nice hard cases. When I found out that both of these are made by Rigotti in France, I was pretty excited because I love Rigotti reeds. Uh, in fact, this Better Sax reed, when I first tried it, it kind of reminds me of what Rigotti calls the red one. And this one, on the other hand, doesn't remind me of the red one, nor does it remind me of their original blue box reeds either. So neither of these reeds are exactly like the Rigotti reeds, but they are definitely not like each other. And that's kind of cool for the consumer point of view, isn't it? I think I did two gigs with this one, and I'm planning on doing another one this weekend. So we'll see how it goes then. But it's still playable, it's still working. Um, not as good as read number one was right out of the box. <laughs> So it's pretty soft and easy to blow. In fact, it almost wants to crack uh, down low, but you know, it's almost perfect, not quite as good as read number one was. My very first impression right off the bat, is the reed sounds kind of harsh, a little bit on that brittly edgy sound, which more than what I'm used to. And it's a little, it takes a little more effort. So I, I'm having to blow more than I want to, to get these low notes to pop out. All I can say about three of the five reeds, they have what I would call a husky tone. There's, it doesn't have a gentle, sweet sound. It's ah, like a like a bark. Okay. All right. So here's a somewhat gentle, sweet song. I'm gonna try to play, and let's see what we think. <laughs> Can you tell what I mean by that from that example? It just there's just no sweetness to it. But if what you want is that <clears throat> take charge kind of sound, then this is the read for you. This Boston Sack Shop read is definitely beyond its life expectancy. <laughs> its expiration date is over. But I'm going to just try to get a few more measures out of it so that you can hear the difference of the smoothness of, of tone uh, between Boston Sack Shop when compared to the Better Sax reads. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
I took lots of notes while working on this project for the past three months, and let's go over some of my notes right now. Let's start with the better sax reads, and read one, day one, excellent response. Good articulation, great low end, great altissimo. Day two and three, still great. Day four through six, uh, eight hours of playing time so far, and still a very good read. Day seven through nine, also good. But I can tell that the read is starting to you know, wear and get softer. Uh, on day 12, it's warped, it won't flatten out. And so in total, I got 12 playing days and 14 hours out of that first read. That's a very good report. You know, I got to say, my average is about eight playing days and eight hours of playing time on most reads. So let's go on. Uh, better sax read number two. Uh, day one, good, but not as great as read number one. I think there's some video on this that you already saw. Day two, still good. Low notes want to crack up an octave. Uh, day three, altissimo still works. Day four, it's getting less reliable for the low range and the high range. Day five, can't make a decent crescendo, trash. Total for this read was five plain days and seven hours. Okay, read number three. This was a bad read. <laughs> day one, dull, no tone, hard to blow. Tried sandpaper, tried a reed geek. I just couldn't get this thing to make a good sound. I mean, bar barely any sound. One day, one hour playing time. Read number four. Uh, day one, good. It uh, needs more effort than read number one. Uh, it's got that husky tone to it. It plays loud and soft, but it doesn't have a nice, gentle subtone. Anyway, total playing time on this read was six playing days and a total of seven hours. Okay, read number five. It's got that husky tone, but it's pretty good. It's similar to read number four and a tiny bit easier to blow. I put a little read geek on it. Day two plays great. Uh, day three and four also great, but day five getting hard to blow again. And day six warm uh, warped <laughs> and it's time to hit the trash. Six playing days and 12 hours of time. So again, pretty good amount of hours Okay, moving on to Boston Sax Shop. We've got read one, day one. Very good response, uh, good articulation, easy lows, fair to good altissimo range. It's slightly easier to blow than the better sax reads. Uh, and it doesn't have a husky tone, it has kind of a sweet tone. Day two, three, four, same, good. Day six, uh, played one more hour, severe warp, trash. Total for this read was six playing days and seven hours of playing time. Uh, read number two. Uh, days number one and two, firmer than read number one was. Reminds me of the better sax reads in terms of firmness. Uh, day three. After three hours of time, it feels like it's broken in, but it's not quite as good as read number one was. Day number four, also good. Day number five, warped. After an hour and a half, trash. So five playing days and 5.5 hours. Okay, Boston Sax, read number three. Uh, day one, easy to blow, responsive, good dynamics, bright. Day two, after two hours of total time, it's beginning to warp. Uh, I tried it on a different mouthpiece just to see if I could get any more time off of it. Didn't work. Day three, it's gone. Total of three playing days and three hours of time. Yeah, that was the quote-unquote bad read out of that box. Okay, and then uh, read number four. We have day one, first hour was great, uh, soft, bright, and easy. Day two, good for one hour, and I'm noticing a little warp toward the tip. What I mean is it's starting to bend toward its, the tip of the mouthpiece. Uh, but then the reed keeps on going and going. Uh, day number three, I can see that it's 
okay for an hour. It's getting a little quieter in volume level, but day four through eight, it's still working. Not as powerful, but it's still working. Days nine through 13, it's still working. And I think there's a video on with this read as well. So this one gave me a surprising number of days, 14 playing days and 14.5 hours. Boston Sack Shop <coughs> read number five. This was on the Yanaga Sour mouthpiece instead. Good response, uh, day one, good dynamics and good range. Day two and three, also good. Day four, uh-oh, we're taking a turn for the worse. Hard to play, warping. Total on this read was four playing days and 4.5 hours. Okay, so let's look at the grand totals for both of these boxes of reads. For the better sacks, we had a grand total of 30 playing days and 41 hours. I think that was a little better than my average experience. Uh, the grand total for Boston Sacks Shop, we had 32 playing days and 34.5 hours, which is about the average number of days for a, a box of five in my experience, but a little bit under in terms of hours. My final thoughts? Well, my final thoughts are, are mixed. Uh, I like the Better Sax read for my theater gig, where everything is kind of loud and brashy. There's a lot of rock and roll, but it's rather inconsistent. You notice that one of those five reads was awful. Couldn't even play it for an hour. Now, going to Boston Sax Shop, I kind of prefer that from my quieter jazz gigs, like the coffee shop gigs. The downside with the Boston Sack Shop reads was that three of the five yielded a shorter number of hours than I would prefer. Okay, so there's my thoughts and data and opinions, and uh, I don't know if I made this more confusing, but I hope this was helpful to you in deciding uh, which brand might be good for you, or maybe neither of them. See you next time.